hey everyone and welcome back so in this video i'll be telling you the difference between view source and inspector because from the next video whenever we are trying to find cross site scripting vulnerabilities in our labs the i mean we'll be using inspector instead of view source and that is the reason i thought maybe if i can explain you what is the difference between view source and inspector that would really help beginners right so let me actually explain you that what is inspector and what is view source right now for that reason uh, i have created a new file that is test.html right and this is my test.html file where i have created a header tag with a text code word right now let me actually save this uh, file and open this file uh, in my browser right so let me just open this file in my browser and you can see the heading that is code word right now in order to actually check the source code of the page that is view source right in order to check the source code of the page all you need to do is you need to press ctrl u on your browser in your browser so that you can see the source code of the page right so ctrl u and here you can see the entire source code for this page and on top you can see this is nothing but view source and this is how you check the source code of your page right so this is your page and if you want to check the entire source code of the page you can simply check that in view source by pressing ctrl u and this is nothing but the entire code that we have typed in our visual studio so in general uh, the view source is nothing but the entire code that you get from the server as the response for example if i press google.com right google or not google.com maybe example.com if i press example.com right so i got a response from the server and if you want to check the source code i mean the exact copy of the code that you received from the server you can just simply press ctrl u and this is nothing but the response that you got from the server so basically view source is nothing but the exact copy of the code that you got from the server so this is nothing but the code that you got from the server and that is nothing but your view source got it awesome so let me actually tell that again view source is nothing but the code that you got from the server it is the exact copy of the code that you received from the server as response and that is nothing but source code of your page got it so now you can tell what is the source code of the page and what is view source awesome so now let us see what is inspector so let me actually uh, kill all these documents all right now we are back to test.html right now in order to access the inspector what you need to do is you can just right click on the page and click on inspect right and there you go you can see the inspector right here now if i open so that you can see the entire code on this page now if you observe this code this entire code with the code that you saw in the source code of the page right with this code you can observe one thing it is exactly same so this code is exactly same as the inspector right here i mean the code that is inside inspector right so you have the html tag the doc.html meta 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 title head body head body html right so it is the exact same code but i'm telling that both are different so how is that true because they have exactly same code but i'm telling both are different right so in order to show the difference let me actually do something so let me open uh, visual studio again and here uh, after the body let me actually create a script tag right so what i'll do is so i'll create a script tag now i'll write simple uh, javascript code so that i can edit this header uh, one text right so i just want to change this from code word to a b c d e so that i'll do with javascript code right so what i'll do is i'll simply do document.html sorry document.query selector right or maybe not query selector i'll actually give it uh, an id so id is equals to one so that i can actually select this element with the help of id right so document dot get element by id and then i'll say one and i'll change the inner html for this particular element so dot inner html is equals to a b c d e a b c d e right and i'll save this and then i'll open this particular page again so where is my page test html and if i reload the page you can see that the code word has changed to a b c d e so what happened here the javascript on the page got executed and when it got executed it changed the inner html of my element with id1 that is nothing but this header it changed the text from code word to a b c d e now let us actually go and check the source code of the page and as well as inspector for this particular page right before that let me actually close both of these tabs right now let me actually check the source code of the page that is ctrl u 
and you can see the entire source code of the page right and so here basically we have the entire html and here we have the script tags after the body so this is the exact same code that we have in the uh, visual studio right so this is nothing but the exact copy of the code that we have written right now let us actually check the inspector so let me actually go back to test.html right click on the page and click on inspect now if i just open everything and you can see that we have the exact same code but you can observe that the text inside heading is changed to a b c d e right whereas if you go to the source code of the page it is still code word nothing is changed because this is the exact copy of the code that is that we have written in visual studio that is why it is still code word because here it is code word this is the exact copy i mean the source code of the page is nothing but the exact copy that we have written right but the inspector what it will do is it will also execute all the javascript that is present in the source code i mean it will also execute all the script tags it will basically execute all the javascript code that is present inside the source code of the page and it will show the final output on the web page and that is why here use in the inspector you actually see a b c d e because it will actually execute the javascript inside the source code and then it will show you all the code in the inspector okay let me just tell that again now this is the source code of the page right so this is nothing but the entire code that we have written correct now if i go to the source code of the page we see the exact same code that is present in visual studio correct because source code is nothing but the exact copy that server will send and here for now the server is nothing but this page and so that is why you will see the exact copy of this particular source code in your view source and here the heading one text is nothing but code word correct so this is view source now if you go back to inspector you can see that the entire code is same except the heading one element here the text for heading one element is a b c d e and that is because in inspector all the script tags will be executed whereas in view source the script tags won't be executed right there because this is nothing but the exact copy that you get from the server here nothing will be executed all the script tags will only be executed in the inspector and that is why you will see a b c d e text for the heading one in the inspector but not in the source code of the page got it awesome so the final version of your code is always visible in the inspector but not in the view source got it awesome and that is why we'll use inspector from our next videos for all the xss lab now before actually closing this video let me actually tell you one more interesting point of uh, i mean about inspector right so what i'll do is i'll open my visual studio and then i'll remove all the script tags first right all the script tags and i'll actually uh, remove all the heading one tags as well right and here what i'll do is i'll simply put less than symbol all less than symbols and save this file right and i'll open my page so reload this page and you can see all the less than symbols and you can see the less than symbols in the inspector as well inside the body right awesome now again what i'll do is instead of less than symbols i'll actually put ampersand lt uh, and colon i mean the semicolon right and i'll copy this and i'll give a space paste 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 blah 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 and i'll save this file and if i open this page if i open this page in my browser do you expect to see ampersand lt in the inspector or do you expect to see the less than symbol what do you expect okay let us actually see that in the browser right so i'll just open my browser and reload this page you can see all the less than symbols and in the inspector as well you see all the less than symbols but this is not exactly less than symbol you might actually see the less than symbol because the inspector always show you the html decoded form of all the characters now what is html encoded and what is html decoded form you might ask so let me just explain you that so after this i'll just uh, create a comment i'll create a comment and here i'll explain you what is html encoded and html decoded version right now say that we have a less than symbol right now the html encoded form of less than symbol is nothing but ampersand lt right and similarly the greater than symbol the html encoded version is ampersand gt that is greater than and similarly uh, if you can check uh, apostrophe right if you have apostrophe that is this one so the html encoded version is ampersand a pass a pass right now what inspector will do is whenever it sees ampersand lt that is html encoded version of less than symbol right 
so whenever it says ampersand lt right for example say that the code has ampersand lt right ampersand lt semicolon so whenever the inspector sees this ampersand lt it will immediately decode this html to less than symbol and it will show you in the inspector inspector now similarly whenever your inspector sees ampersand gt in the code right in the source code of the page it will simply convert it to greater than right in the inspector again so whenever your inspector sees this html encoded version of a character right it will simply decode that and will show that to you for example you can see that for example you have ampersand lt ampersand lt right but here if you see in the inspector it is showing all less than symbols but in order to see the actual characters right whether it is less than or not you need to actually right click and then edit as html so that you can actually see the actual version of that particular characters right so it is actually ampersand lt ampersand lt right but what inspector is doing whenever it is seeing this ampersand lt ampersand lt it is simply html decoding it and then showing that to you for example if i click somewhere here you can again see less than less than less than less than because it is actually decoding that html for that character and it is showing that particular character to you now again so basically whenever you want to see the actual version whenever you want to see the actual version of that character whether it is less than or not you need to actually right click on that particular element and click on edit as html so that you can see the actual version for all the characters right and the reason that i am saying this is for example say that you have inputted a payload xss payload which has a less than symbol script less than symbol something like that right but you might think that oh i got this reflected that is less than symbol but it might not be less than symbol okay let me actually say that with an example but not uh, just through words right so say that uh, we have injected a payload that is something like this so script alert one two three and then we have another one that is script right so say that you have injected this payload in that particular website but what the website server is doing is it is actually encoding all these characters so that this particular payload won't be executed so what the server is doing it is actually encoding all these characters so that you can't execute xss right so how server will respond is it will simply encode all these characters for example this particular payload will be changed to ampersand lt script and ampersand gt right and semicolon again and here we'll have alert one two three and again here we'll have uh, ampersand lt gt blah 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 copy this and paste this right here and here we'll have a slash now this is the payload that you have put in a website right but what the server is doing it is simply html encoding all these characters and responding this particular payload in the response of the page so that the actual script tag won't be executed on the page right so let us actually copy this and let me just put that here right so i'll paste this right here and save the file and open this file in firefox and i'll open the inspector for the page now you might actually think that you have actually successfully injected the payload that is script alert one two three script right but that is not the case so basically what inspector is doing is whenever it is seeing the less than symbol uh, that is ampersand lt ampersand gt it is simply html decoding it and it is showing that to you and that is why you are seeing this less than symbol script alert one two three less than symbol slash script right but in order to see the actual version that the server has responded to you you need to right click on this and click on edit as html so that you can see the actual version of this particular characters i mean all the characters that the server has responded with got it awesome so that is about inspector and view source so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and again remember that from the next videos we'll be using inspector in order to solve cross site scripting labs and always remember that less than symbol in inspector doesn't mean that you have actually injected less than symbol it might be possible that it is actually showing the html decoded version of that particular less than symbol so you need to always and always edit as html for that particular character so that you can see the actual version of that particular character whether it is less than or just the html encoded version of that character got it awesome so i'll just stop this video right here thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next lab thank you bye